Good evening. I'm here to tell you about two kinds. I'm at Luminary Labs. I spend a lot of time working with big, giant companies on transformation and innovation. And actually, that's going really well. Uh, but we have to, to do that work. We have to work outside with startups and ask them all the time to enter our innovation competitions, big strategic asks in the space of healthcare right now. And that's kind of starting to piss me off lately. So I'm here to tell you that really there's two kinds of startups, those that piss me off and those that are really great, the badass and the super badass. My talk's about that tonight. So first, badass, how many of you out there are lean startup people? Raise your hands. Who? Nobody, really? OK, a couple. There's like 20 here. OK, I have uh, I have lean launchpad certified instructor. I have a Steve Blank cup. I went out to Stanford. I'll be teaching it at NYU this spring. But there's startups out there that could actually make you lean. Um, quantified self on steroids and all of the wonderful startups thinking about behavior change, motivational change, and actually figuring out how we get ourselves skinny. OK, badass, get traction. How many of you are working in a sales funnel right now, trying to move through that sales funnel, get revenue? I see a few. OK, there's actually a lot of you. There's this great sales funnel. I think it's by Dave McClure. It's very elegantly designed. But you know what? Like the original sales funnel back in the 60s, even the 50s, was the sales funnel of changing behavior, the things that happen outside the funnel that are way more interesting to helping us improve our life to helping us keep on the plan and get better. OK, failure. How many of you guys are big fans of failure? Failure's so great. Everybody's always like, in a job interview the other day, I met a guy who had been on eight failed startups. He was really proud of himself. He was so proud. Well, you know what? I like s startups that actually solve for failure. Uh, for example, zero points of failure. You know that medical errors are the sixth leading cause of death in this United States. It'd be nice if we could work on actually improving that. OK, permission marketing is so great. Seth Godin, you guys know him. Everybody reads his blog. He like invented this term back in the 90s, You know, actually getting people to opt in and agree. Well, you know what? In health, there's like a much higher bar. It's called informed consent. People actually have to be aware that they're giving you uh, consciously their information and getting you to agree to give up all their data. It's a much higher bar, and I like startups that do that and don't just give it all away for free. OK, big data. How many of you guys work in big? My data is so big. I need, I have petabytes. I have terabytes. My bigger data is bigger than your data. Personally, I like something even better, open data. Why is there no love of open data, open source people, big data people? Open data is not just for governments. It's for startups, too. And what really is the value of data in a complex emerging system? OK, there's a data science talent war. According to McKinsey, there will be a shortfall of 190,000 data scientists by the year 20, I think, uh, 18. And that's predicted here in 2013. We're going to be really much in charge. But you know what? I like everybody being able to learn some math. How can we do that? How can we actually train people, not just the girls? Because I know we're going to be better data scientists, but everybody how to actually read this data. So it's not this ridiculous talk about a talent war. OK, how many people want to get to hockey sticks? You haven't gotten there yet. You're looking for that growth funnel, that moment, that rocket ship about to take off. Well, just to slip from health to environment right now, I'd like to talk about this Earth and the fact that she wants to kick our ass. Her hockey stick is how this Earth is getting really warm. That is a hockey stick I would like us all to work on reversing. OK, more badass. How many of you guys want to raise millions? Go IPO as the ultimate barometer of your success. You're going to get there. I know you're going to do it. It's really awesome when it happens. It happened to me once. What if we actually worked on something different? What if we actually tried to save trillions? Come on, every big data startup, you're really just moving the needle on some ad tech spend. How about we take a hack at this healthcare thing and actually figure out how we can survive in the coming generations? All right, thanks all. I'm in pursuit of the super badass.